Hello and welcome to another review. Today I'll show you this, the ProCare Compact Disc Surface Scratch Repairer. Uh, I've already got it out of the box and set up. And there it is. Uh, it works off the mains, which you get a plug with it. Inside you get the, uh, the sanding pads. Can you also get your two uh, buffer pads your uh, solution and your brush to brush off the sanding pads. Now yeah uh, you can buy uh, refills as well so once the discs are had it you can replace them which is good. Uh, it does uh, exactly what it says on the tin it does CD games, disc DVD, CDRs and CDRV writables. Uh, I'd like to point out though do not do Blu-ray discs with this because a Blu-ray disc uh, works slightly differently on how you read the layers of the discs and unfortunately you can't uh, take off like, the top layer because it damages the disc so don't use Blu-ray discs with this. I have got here a disc that I've purposely scratched right? I burnt a text file and some photographs on here. So I purposely scratched it by going up the wall, which I don't know if you can see it on camera. Uh, if not, you just have to take my word for it. But uh, it looks like I might have gone a bit too far though. But we'll see if we can recover the data anyway. Remember, this only clears the top scratch scratches on the top surface. So if then deep. You can't you can't recover it no way, and the same if the the top layer is scratched, it's unrecoverable. So you just can't not recover it. So it's quite simple to, to do. On the back here, it's got very clear instructions. It tells you it takes about six minutes in total. It tells you that one pair of uh, discs, the scratch and the buffer pads, uh, can be used around fifty times. Same with the solution. So the first thing you need to do is you need to use the pink discs, which are the uh, sand pads. All right, then we put the disc in. Like so. Close it up and press power. Now that will scratch the disc to remove the top scratches, hopefully. So it's very clear, the instructions is obviously open it up, put the pink ones in, insert the disc and close the press power. Then, uh, yeah, you can go by steps or steps really, which is what we'll do actually. I'll go through step by step as it says on here, just to show you how easy it is to do. Now myself, I do tend to look after my discs, but it yeah, they still get scratched for some reason and occasionally I've had to use this to help recover some of the data and thankfully it's worked and uh, hopefully we can recover the data on this disc even though there's nothing important on there because I just created it for the purpose of this video so then yeah, also with, the, uh, with this particular kit, the ProCare who want to search the, uh, the actual models, the pc dash. Uh, 7089 so you can look it up I said you can get the accessories with it uh, I've actually bought a pack that's next door uh, the accessories as I said earlier on you get the buffer pads the sand pads the solution so you, it's good because you tend to see if once you've used it you are chuck it away because you can't get the accessory pack so it's a really good piece of kit, I reckon. There are, there's a few of this sort of thing out on the market. Uh, I've never owned any of the others personally. I have known other people to own another one. It wasn't made by ProCares, made by somebody else. And done the job just as good. Uh, but I think the uh, ProCare just comes with a... It's, it's a little bit better because it's powered by the mains, where some forms manually operated, believe it or not. So, 
But I think this is bare with, with the mines. Solution. It's uh, quite good. It does does the job. Don't say much on the bottle really, but anyway. So that's that done now. So next step, obviously, it tells you here. As the process stops automatically, it's it's all automatic by the way. Open the disc. Remove your disc and remove the sand pads. Replace them with the yellow pads. All right, now this is the important step. Add two drops to the right disc. Okay. Now you don't need to be big drops, just small dabs. Now I recommend dropping a dab at the top and a dab at the bottom. All right. That's two drops, one at the top, one at the bottom. All right. And then uh, obviously you got to insert your disc, close and press power. <laughs> I've just noticed something on the instructions, right? When it gets to the to the process to add in the yellow disc, in, it says. Add two small small drops of the repair fluid on the right side. Close the cover plate and press the power. Or well, you should have said, add the add the drops. Put your disc in, then press the power. But it is quite obvious anyway. Uh, after the process is stopped, the disc is fully restored, and the repair process is complete. Always clean the sand pads pink with the brush after use to maintain optimal performance. So it's wrong way to do now. Um, oh, I ain't got been enough in this room at the moment. I've took it downstairs there. So just clean the pads. It's quite simple, you just basically brush them off. Quite simple. Then uh, I suppose here yeah, it does say for deep scratch repair, repeat the process until you achieve the best results. So if they are pretty deep, but not too deep, and you can try and recover, uh, you can do this, yeah, a couple of times. Uh, the uh, buffer pads though, don't, if you're using more than three times, you are allowed to dry. And uh, there's another thing somewhere. Yeah, also only try and repair the disc uh, three times because it uh, can get a bit hot and overheat apparently. So. So that's basically it really, and uh, it's all well packed as well. It's um, this is the packaging, like on the end, which I can actually start pulling away. So you've got to put put your discs in there. Actually, you stop that. Take that out. Take the disc, and uh, wow, that's removed a lot of scratches. I'm telling you, there's still a deep in there. So I think I'm all gone a, a tiny bit overboard with the uh, with the scratching on the water, scratch the disc up for the purpose of this video. But I'm quite confident that I'll still be able to recover my data on that. So anyway, well, once you finish, anyway, I'm packing away. I'll show you how, uh, how neatly it is. So, This is how I do. I'll put the yellow ones back in there, put the uh, pink ones back into the device. So, put the uh, fluid solution. Close up. Unplug it. Right. 
with the plug I kept the uh, the tie for it so good useful thing because in that way you can repack it as it come out hopefully yeah as most people know once you get them out of the box it's hard to get them back in but this is this door's pretty accommodate to it right so like that that down there yeah nice bit of cardboard that just basically slides in like so and put it away like that so it's all nicely neat and if you look at, the, at that it's neat which is good so you ain't got a yeah, it's all spread out all over the place. Right now, now comes the uh, the big test. Did it do its job? Remember, I already pre-scratched this before I done this video uh, to make sure I couldn't access the data. So now I'm just going to remove any discs. And I'm going to need another disc in there. I'm just going to check. So I've inserted the disc into my Mac. Fingers crossed. It's reading. It's reading. I can hear it. I can hear it spinning. I can see the discs popped up at the bottom. So let's open it up. So far, so good. I'll zoom in. There you go. That's when I created a disk, August the 6th, 2010, which is today. Click on the text file. And yet, yeah, there it has. It has read the text. There you go. If you can see that, it's got, if you can read this, then you have repaired at the CD. And of course, the follow us information, which is where you can follow me. So, it's read the uh, text file. Is good so fingers so far it's working now as you read the photo file let's recover that so we're going to go into the tech All right so far so good it is I right, know we need to open them up and by the looks of it there's one picture. Into the next one. Yeah. Close that. Yeah. As you can see, it's with that one. And the last one. Yes, it's read it. So there you go. One disc successfully prepared well there you go it's worked it's, it's got more disc recovered so i'll definitely reckon you rec recommending you the pro care disc surface scratch repair it definitely comes handy if you've got scratched discs it's repaired mine it should repair yours remember do not use on blu-ray discs because the discs read differently to dvds and cds they hold the data on the layers or the disc a bit differently and as soon as you scratch or take off that top surface it, your discs is ruined so don't use blu-ray discs anyway if you look up the model number of pc-7089 you search you definitely find this product then i recommend it i'm giving this a gt ratings of 5 out of 5 i cannot fault it in any way i'm happy so are you